Gigi was very strict with me. He said that I should simply welcome you all uh, to Scuola Normale Superiore, uh, especially the ones uh, uh, of you that are here for the first time, if there are any. Um, he wanted me to tell you also something about uh, the institution and uh, the location you're in, so I'll do that in about uh, 42 seconds, not more, don't worry, and there will be no condensed matter involved, I promise. Uh, Scuola Normale Superiore is a special institution in the Italian system. It was uh, uh, designed and conceived uh, uh, to train gifted students uh, in uh, sciences and humanities. In recent times, we have opened up a little bit the scope. It had happened before in the 20s, in the last century. We had also medicine, we had uh, law, uh, but then that was uh, removed out of Scuola Normale. And now we're opening up again out of the closed uh, fields of uh, sciences and humanities. Um, our ambition is that of uh, creating a special environment for these students uh, where they can, uh, uh, first of all, interact with each other and learn from one another, and also have the opportunity to talk to people like you uh, that come here to discuss their research interests and activities so that uh, they can learn about the forefront of different uh, research fields like the one we are talking here. Especially the time frame here is probably quite in line with, the, with our students, the, the newborn students, uh, because they may have access to these fantastic new opportunities uh, um, during their lifetime and scientific uh, um, active lifetime in, in particular. This building is uh, um, a building that was always uh, involved with training of youngsters. Initially, training them to war, because uh, that's where the Knights of St. Stephen were, were trained in here to fight uh, uh, the wars uh, in the Mediterranean. Um, more recently, say from 1850 or so, the Square Normale has been staying. Uh, here, and we don't train students to war, with a few notable exceptions. Uh, we have had students that prepared missiles. Um, they didn't fire them, we fired the student. Uh, more recently, we had uh, um, other students uh, that were very active, at least verbally, uh, on the international arena. And some of you may have uh, read about it. The guy was not a terrorist, don't worry. He was just confused, very confused. But he stayed here just about a month and then was packed and shipped uh, back from its origin point. So at this point in time, you are safe. <laughs> and uh, I hope uh, uh, you will carry out your activity here in a relaxed uh, uh, environment. If you see any missiles or bombs or things, please let uh, Gigi know. He knows uh, he has been trained uh, to take care of all that. More seriously, I hope that uh, uh, your today's here will be fruitful and uh, we are available in, in, all way, in all ways we can uh, to support your activity here. Your line of research is one of the core business, businesses of Scuola Normale uh, Superiore and I hope uh, you'll bring back good memories from your stay here. So thank you for, thank you for being here with us. Thanks a lot, Fabio.